Have you been asked to calculate the equity ratio for a business and you're not quite sure how to do that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and in this video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to calculate the equity ratio. But first I wanna say something wonderful is about to happen for you, so be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. In today's video, I'm gonna show how to calculate the equity ratio. In a prior video, using the same company, I showed how to calculate the debt ratio. If you missed that video, I've linked it up here for you. This is the company that we're gonna calculate the equity ratio for, Capco Inc. And it has the following balance sheet for the current year. I've got the assets listed here and they are totaled for us. We have the liabilities listed here and they are totaled for us. And then finally, we have the owner's equity. And as you may recall, the owner's equity is what's left over when we deduct the liabilities from the assets. So it can be calculated that way in case you are not given it. Our question today is, what is the equity ratio? To calculate this, you're going to need the formula for the equity ratio, and I have that right here for you. Equity ratio is the owner's equity. By the way, this is sometimes called shareholder's equity or stockholder's equity, or it might just be called equity. So be aware that there's more than one name for this. And we're dividing it by the total assets. And once we do that division, we do multiply by 100 because we want to turn that decimal into a percentage. And this is the type of ratio that investors might use to determine the health of a company. And I was going to determine how much of the assets are actually owned by the shareholders, essentially is what we're calculating here. So this is the formula that we're going to use with the data above. Thank you for that thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. I appreciate it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find out what the owner's equity is. And we have that right here. And that is $3,375,000. And we're going to divide it by the total assets. And if we look up here on our balance sheet, we have total assets of $6,000,000. $490,000. Let's do that division and then we'll multiply it by 100. So we're going to do that division and then we're going to multiply it by 100. I'm going to use my BA2 plus calculator. If you want a good financial calculator such as this one, this is by Texas Instruments. I've linked some down and below in the description to this channel. We're going to put in the Numerator first, 3,375,000. And we're going to divide by the denominator, which is 6,490,000. And that gives us 0 0.5200 and some other digits. We will now multiply this by 100. And that gives us 52. 0.00%. So in other words, our equity ratio is 52%. Of course, look at how many decimal places that your answer is supposed to be in. It may say one decimal place um, or two. Regardless of this one, we've got two zeros. So if we round that, it just rounds to 52% anyway. So this is a ratio we might compare to other companies to determine the health of this particular company and how those impact um, investment decisions is really outside the scope of this video. So that's all I have for you today. If you found this helpful and you think somebody else that you know 
might find this helpful, please share this video with them. Just click on the share button down below and you can share it in email, on your social media. Um, there's a lot of choices there where you can do it or you can just copy the link and you could text it to a friend and that will help them out as well. I also ask that you consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you.